Sure, I'm that wouldn't break it out. That would be name record. Well, luckily, I had my great grandma's job. And that was the best way out. So we don't have time. Okay, hold on. I could tell you're all clearly aunt. I get it. I've been there. I live there. So I'm going to teach you all an Aam yoga hand trick that'll bring us a peace and tranquility. Hands up, everybody. Up, up. By applying pressure between your second and third knuckle, it activates a nerve that loosens the area around your heart and brings a lasting sense of insta-calm. <sighs> Freaky. Major respect to your Zen class. Okay. So here's what we know. Professor Cato is still safely locked in the bunker. Cam, Ember, and I were able to escape the airlock and rescue the blogger named Riker, formerly known as Gordon. The only part missing is who trapped you inside. Actually, we may have a lead. I got a text from Riker a few minutes ago. He's leaving the Mars program. Off to my next I dare ya adventure, sledding Glacier National Park. It's safer. Good luck with that. It's melting, making it more like slushy National Park. Thanks, global warming. Yeah, well, here's where it gets interesting. I texted him back that at least he's got footage for his blog, but he told me his phone's been wiped clean. All of his photos, videos, gone. What? Almost losing your life is one thing, but losing everything on your phone, a total nightmare. So wait, if all of Riker's footage was erased, then maybe he filmed something he wasn't supposed to. Maybe someone wanted to eliminate him and the evidence on his phone. Bri, if someone can remotely erase data, is it possible for us to remotely retrieve it? Like from the cloud? I'm already on it. Any self-respecting blogger will definitely back up their data. Totally emoji shock face. Even the backup is wiped. I can rebuild the files and recover the data, but it'll take a few hours. Go for it. Hello. Where have you been? What's the biggie, guys? Michaela got a text. It didn't have to be from Kyle. I mean, sure, Mikhail's a cute name, adorbs actually, but... Sweet relief. Got a sec? Uh, yeah, actually, I'm not really I'm... asking. Look, we all know you're confused about Kyle. I, I really like him. I just don't have time to focus on a relationship right now. I get it, but if you're gonna end it, do it in person. Don't ghost him. I know face-to-face -face is the right thing, but come on. You've seen his face. It's such a sweet face. Stop making that face. Fine, I'll see him. Meet me at the park, six o'clock. Still waiting. Cam, can you please tell Adrian that I'd appreciate it if she wouldn't stand over me breathing down my neck? It's not like she's my boss at the cafe. Ever, can you please ask Bryden why this process is going so slowly? It's not like she's busy cracking eggs for another souffle disaster. Any idea what's going on with these two? My brain's already on overload dealing with my dad's dating life. Guys, we'd love to help you out here, but we gotta get back to camp. Tonight's our overnight inside the Mars Hab. Gonna be learning about life in minus 85 degrees Fahrenheit. A tad warmer than the chill in this room. Devin, please tell Bryden that I will be patiently waiting over here. Devin, please let Adrian know that she can talk to the handbag. Okay, enough. Even though seeing how much you all love each other sometimes makes you want to heave, this, whatever it is that's going on, is actually worse. It's clear you guys can't resolve your problems using your words, so it's time to use your hands. You're gonna paint it out. Mm -hmm. Oh my word! This is so cool! This place is off the charts. Over the next four days, you will train for a simulated shuttle launch, travel on the space station, and live on Mars in our deep space habitat geolab, or HAB for short. A mission that would ordinarily take nine months. Oh, this place is awesome. Did you see that deep space glove box? They use it to study samples collected during spacewalks. I mean, <laughs> how about that trash to gas reactor developed to recycle in deep space and convert it to methane and other gases? I think I'm dreaming. Well, I must be dreaming too because there's no way little Cameron Coyle belongs here. For reals. The good news. Who's that? Justin's brother, Zach. One year older and 10 times more irritating. Now, straight from the International Space Station, currently traveling 220 miles above the Earth, I give you Destination Mars Camp graduate, flight engineer, 
Chris Bryant. Welcome trainees and congratulations. Your acceptance into the DM program is quite an accomplishment. And I should know, I attended Destination Mars Camp and now I'm here floating in micro G. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. Amazing. That's so awesome. Oh, that's so cool. I, I need to try that. That's... But I'm here to tell you, this is no summer fun camp. This program will be challenging, so stay on your game. In space, things go wrong, but it will be your job to work together to solve problems as they arise. Because on Mars, your life and those of your fellow astronauts depend upon it. So, for your first question, who can tell me what the Mars atmosphere is made of? Well, then I hope next time we speak, one of you will have the answer. Until then. Why don't you all take a few minutes to introduce yourselves and we'll get started. Dad, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you again for letting me come here. You're very welcome, sweetheart, but you're the one who earned this. Are you sure it's not too expensive? Oh, I'm sure. I'll go meet the others. Submissions are amazing. <laughs> that was very sweet. Yeah, yeah, she's a great kid. <laughs> I'm Jenny. Jenny Wallace. Charles Coyle. My friends call me Chuck. Oh. Actually, no, that, that's not true. Uh, no one calls me Chuck. I don't know. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> let's, let's just stick with Charles. Okay, Charlie, it is. <laughs> That's my daughter, Tessa. It's a silver-based astronomical telescope. Not only does it have a high reflectance rating, but its coating makes it less susceptible to stress in the Mars atmosphere. <laughs> Amazing! I can't believe you made that! So this is what you submitted to get into the Mars camp? Yep. It's a retractable treadmill built so astronauts can exercise more. In space, due to microgravity, our proximal femoral bone loses up to 15% of its mass per month. You mean 1.5% bone mass per month, right, Gordon? Right, of course. Either way, it'll help me keep my awesomely toned bod <laughs> on Mars. Mm. I'd show you both a real six pack, but it'd be like staring into the sun. Please don't. First lesson of DM camp, don't pay attention to that guy. You know you can't do that, Camelot. Space, I'm a bright shining star. Camelot? He even sounds like Justin. Where do you think Justin learned it? Scapel. Tweezers. The tracking device is very delicate. It must be inserted just right. And what better place to hide it than here? Adrian's green gummy bear. Uh, call me crazy, but wouldn't a sponge work better? Sure, if I had a sea sponge, but Ma soaks up moisture in a pinch. Let's just hope your sister is still in Maywood Glen. She's here, I'm sure of it. And this tracking device Kim built us will help us find her. Kim said it's coated in a polymer that will pass through Maddie's system in about two days, meaning we've got about 48 hours of tracking time. And you really think Maddie will just show up at the cafe? If I know her, she will. She lives to take risks. When we were little, every Friday after bedtime, she'd sneak out of the house for mint chip froyo. As long as she's still into froyo Fridays, this will work. Nobody can make mint chip froyo like me. I never once saw Maddie eat froyo without piling on the green gummies. That's where this baby comes in. Adri's gummies are irresistible. Ember, you ready? Got my orders, Mint Chip Friday. I'll paper the town to make sure your sister's safe. Kayla, I'm heading out for a 10 mile run. You guys know my Aunt Montana, the Falcon? Agent Adams, Agent Evergreen. Nice to finally meet you in person. Mucho gusto, Falcon. Tengo ganas de comer en su café. Hmm, I look forward to feeding you at our cafe. Between you and me, we give a 20% discount to all Innovate employees. Speaking of eating, I rarely put anything unhealthy in my body, 
but I'm a sucker for the green ones. At least we know they go down easy. And we know they work. I'll get Cam working on another one. Wow, the falcon jogs fast. Right, guys? What? So, what? there's a quail Anyone? and a falcon. Does every Innovate agent get a bird name? Yes. Michaela says we get birded for distinguished service. Question. Anybody got dibs on the snow goose? <laughs> Those little ladies are big time supporters of the ecosystem. Hi. Hello. Uh, I saw you outside uh, just before. Um, I'm Kyle. Uh, I, I just wanted to say, um, yeah, really nice kick out there. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. A spinning ball deflects the air rushing by it, and the air responds by deflecting the ball through the curve. It's called the Magnus Effect. The tree was 22 feet from Justin, so traveling at 50 miles per hour, he only had 0.3 seconds to respond. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I will see you, um, later. Bye. Flawlessly handled, Michaela. Come on, Addison. Be honest. Hey, you asked. Basics by training is not easy. But helping you fit in? That will be our assignment most difficult. I know we can do it this time. Two minutes. There's got to be a way out of here. There is. So, how do we get up there? Adri, do you still have your nail polish? Hmm? Metallic rose or ruby sunset? I carry extra in case of emergency. This is clearly an emergency. The nitrocellulose polymers in the polish will act as a binding agent. Or we could just use my super glue. Why didn't you start with that? One minute. What if the window's sealed? Guess we'll find out. Ten seconds. Oh, it was sealed. Training session failed. failed. No, we can figure this out. This place can't be completely sealed. We'd run out of air, right? Wait, if air is coming in, it has to be going out. Right, I need to borrow your necklace. Michaela, I need a rusty leg of that metal chair, ahora. Now we need something that we could use to burn, to make some smoke. Burn my socks. Although, fair warning, we may regret it. One minute. When aluminum reacts with rust, it creates thermite, which burns at over 2,000 degrees centigrade. Mira! The smoke trail is venting through that seam in the wall. Perfecto! <gasps> See? Let's get out of here! Nice job, guys. Nailed it. Yes! Yep. 